have our friends from the Experimental Aircraft Association to tell us all about the upcoming event called the Christmas in the Air, which I am so excited about. So I'd like to introduce Caitlin Brewer here from EAA to tell us all about it. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. So this event is really cool, especially for kids, but for all ages, really. It's called Christmas in the Air. When is it taking place this year? Absolutely. Um, Christmas in the Air is Saturday, December 3rd from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. And that happens right out at the EAA Museum. Yep. Come on out. Check out our museum. We have an amazing facilities team that decorates the entire museum absolutely beautifully. Um, so not only do you get some great entertainment along with our programming, but you can see how gorgeous our museum looks during the holiday season. Definitely. And for all these Christmas events, it's really cool because you get the opportunity to see the museum in a different way. So even if you've already been to the EAA Museum and you think you've seen it all, mm -hmm. it's just I, you've got to get out there and see the awesome decorations too. Absolutely. We always are constantly changing our um, our our programming and our different um, exhibits that we have going on in the museum. So mm -hmm. come check it out. It's just a beacon in Oshkosh too. You know, you think of Oshkosh, EAA is definitely top of mind. Yeah. Um, give us a little bit of an overview of the event of Christmas in the Air. What can we kind of expect throughout the day? Sure. So we start at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, this is a free community event. We are asking for non-perishable food donations that will benefit the Oshkosh area community food pantry. Uh, so come on out. We have performances taking place by different uh, musical groups throughout the Fox Valley, different high school groups, magicals, uh, jazz ensembles. We also have Julius Touch of Silver that will be performing. And we have uh, those funny little people that will be taking the stage yet again. And every time you guys mention that, I'm like, yeah, who are those funny little people? But that's actually their name. Yes, that's <laughs> actually their name. And they are little elves and they sing and dance throughout our Eagle Hanger. And it's a great, great show, especially for the younger kids. Oh, yeah, they're a hit. And yeah. you listed all these other performances. It's such a great opportunity to see all of the talent come together and uh, show off what they've got and what they've been working on all year. Yeah, it's, it's great. You really see the whole community come together and you get to see a wide variety of different groups throughout the community perform in one location. Mm -hmm. And are they performing all throughout the day or is there kind of one specific time that you got to make sure you're there for? Nope. They're performing throughout the entire day from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Very cool. So if a yeah. day full of entertainment, but that's not it. There's already, there's even more that you can do throughout the event. Um, yeah. One of those things being watch some Christmas movies. Yep, we'll have a variety of Christmas movies playing in our Skyscape Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can take a break from all the madness of the museum that day and sit in the theater and watch a 30 minute short Christmas film. Oh, cool. Uh, we also have different uh, stations where they'll, we'll have new kid activities taking place. Oh. And we have the opportunity for children to write letters to Santa. Oh. And Santa even writes a letter back. That is so cool. That's Very, great. oh my gosh, how neat. Um, and of course, Santa's favorite snacks are going to be there as well. Yes, how can we forget? <laughs> we will be having cookies and milk as well. And you're adding something really cool this year too with Santa, um, which is breakfast. Absolutely. So before our official event kicks off at 10 a.m., we are hosting Breakfast with Santa from 8 a.m. until 9.30. We are selling tickets. You can check out our website, eaa.org slash Christmas in the Air. And we will have, there's a link directly on there where you can purchase your tickets. Tickets are limited this year, so they're going quick already. Yeah, get them while they're hot. <laughs> yeah, get them while they're hot. Um, during this breakfast, you can beat the crowds. You get to take, get your picture taken with Santa. We'll have um, an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast, mm -hmm. as well as a giveaway for everyone to take with them as they leave, a special exclusive giveaway. Oh. Um, so tickets are $15 for adults, mm -hmm. $10 for children 4 through 17, and children 3 and under are free. Perfect. And you can find all this information on the EAA website. Yep. Um, and then we have to mention, of course, the biggest part of the day is at noon. Uh, yeah. What happens then? So after breakfast, Santa escapes to the North Pole for a little bit to regroup and <laughs> get ready to fly in by helicopter at noon uh, for everyone else to come meet him and sit on his lap. That is so cool. And we're, this photo is just awesome, too. We can see his beard through the front of the helicopter. Um, yeah. And that must just be so cool for the kids to be able to see this and take part in this. And it's it, mm -hmm. you can kind of build this event in with your, your annual family traditions for Christmas. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, the weather was perfect. So uh, we had a huge crowd outside waiting for Santa to arrive. And he makes a couple different passes by on, on the helicopter. And then once he lands, you can see all the kids' faces oh. just in awe. It's, it's a different experience and it's pretty neat and then you can stand in line and 
He'll take your special Christmas request. It's so Shop cool. Caption. And this is an event, you know, it's very different from the typical things that you see over at EAA. Why hold an event like this that is, you know, free to the community and completely out there? Yeah. <laughs> well, as you know, during Air Venture in the month that, at the end of July, we have over half a million people that come visit us. Mm -hmm. So this is EAA's way of giving back to the community to say thank you. Thank you for supporting us throughout Air Venture and throughout the entire year. Uh, so we want to do something nice for the community in return. That's why we host the, the free events. It's Come so check cool. it out. Yeah, and you guys have things going on throughout the year that you can find on your calendar, on your website as well. Yes. Um, and you're always giving awesome updates on Facebook too. So yeah. uh, one last time, if you can just kind of recap when uh, Christmas in the Air will be taking place and where. Yeah, sure, it's Saturday, December 3rd from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m taking place at the EAA Air Venture Museum. Wonderful. Well, Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been great having you, thank and you. we cannot wait to see Santa make his entrance in via yes. helicopter. So Hope to see you there. <laughs> we'll see us there. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. and Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. Set design provided by House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard. Oshkosh Today, 